Adam, mau bawain. Good key. Hey. Uh, just quick reminder. So we'll be should be back in the dojo on Monday. Normal classes. Uh, masks will be required at all times, along with proper distancing and so forth. So, but it'll be good to be back in person. All right, let's move a bit. Uh, bring your feet together. Zip up those inner thighs. Bring the hands up overhead. Inhale and lean to the right. Inhale. Exhale to the left. Inhale up. Exhale right. Inhale up. Exhale right. Inhale up. Exhale fold forward. Knees can be slightly bent if you want to take your feet about hip width apart, that's fine. Keep the feet, you can bend the knees slightly if you need to, but keep the shoulders and head heavy. Maybe rock side to side just a little bit. Opening up those hamstrings. And start to come up. Go ahead and roll the shoulders back. Take them forward. Twisting. And round the hips. Other way. Feet together, round with the knees. Other way. Pick up one foot, roll the foot. Uh, the way. Switch feet, roll the ankle. Other way. Okay, go ahead and return that foot to the ground. And let's bend forward one more time. And walk the hands forward out towards a push up, but let the hips drop looking up at the ceiling. Push the hips back, bring the chest to the ground. Come up to all fours. We want that X, so the, feet, the hands are pointing forward, but we want that external rotation. So we're rotating the, the triceps underneath the eyes of the elbows forward, okay? Like we're trying to open a jar with each hand outwards, okay? So we get that, that, that torque up through the, through the arm. Same thing we wanna emulate with our feet when we're in our stances, okay? Neutral spine, go ahead and drop the chest, lift the head, inhale. Exhale, press away, arch the back. Inhale, drop. Exhale, arch. Inhale, drop. Exhale, arch. Go ahead and return to a neutral spine. Go ahead and come up so you're standing on your knees, okay? Keeping your, your core nice and forward, okay? Keep the hips forward, reach back if you can and 
touch or grab your heels, open the chest, look up and back. Keep breathing. Slowly come back up. Remain standing on your knees, okay? Let's have left hand out, right hand on the hip. We're just gonna do some punches here. Still getting warmed up. Ready, H, me, sun, she, go, oak, bitch, hutch, coot, two, H, me, sun, keep the butt tight. She, go, oak, H, hutch, coot, two. Good. Good. Stand up. Shake it out. Find some space for some uh, kihon. And we'll just start working our way through. So, Hidai Zen Kutudach, Get on Barai. And let's just step forward, Ski Chudan. Punching chest, hips square. Okay. Ready. H, E, San, Shi, Mo, Oak, H, Hutch, Q, G, J, H, J, N, Sun, she, go, Jeroak, Sitch, Hutch, Spoo, I do. Good. Come back up, back to your original spot. Okay. Oiski Jodan, Gyakski Chudan. So punching above shoulders, then punching center. One, two. So the hips going from Hanmi, Shulman. Hanmi, Shulman. Okay. Open, square. Ready. H. Ni. San. Shi. Go. Ayok. H. Hutch, Ku, Ju, Edge, Three, Sun, She, Go, Look, Zitch, Hutch. Hey, All right, take it back. Moving right along, just working our way through uh, most of the stuff that's in our syllabus. Okay, just review. Um, I, I, I'm hoping, well, once we get back in the dojo and I can sort of get my eyes on everybody and see how we're doing, uh, we might see about uh, uh, doing a test here in the near future. I don't, don't have any dates or anything picked out, but like I said, I, I need to sort of, it's been a while since I've seen you all in person. Okay, so, you know, just gotta evaluate where everybody's at. Okay, so like I said, just some review. Stepping forward, get on bride, yuck, ski. Down block, reverse punch. Ready. H. E. San. She, no, okay, H, touch, two, two, H, Chani, Sun, she, no, okay, H, touch. Nice 
du Good, take it back. Let's go. Um, uh, Udo Yuke, so outside block, reverse punch, since we've got uh, most, pretty much all advanced students uh, tonight, add the, the variation. So the full outside block, Oiski Yakski. So itch ni san, itch ni san. Okay, keeping forward pressure, forward movement, body center must move forward. Ready. Itch ni san, si no, hook, itch. Hatch, two, two, eight, Tani, you saw, you see, you know, you look, you see, Hatch, two. I need you. Very nice. Moving right along. One second, I'm pulling up a copy of the syllabus here just so I've got it for reference. Make sure I'm not leaving anything out. Give me a moment. Sorry, my computer's slow. Oh, come on. My apologies, my time here. Okay. This time, Age Uke, Mikey Age Giri, Yakuski. Okay. So one, two, three. All right. Ready. Reach. Me. Sun. Actually, that should be the front leg. I apologize. Not the back leg. So you're stepping forward, making Agayuke Kisame Geri Gakuski. That probably makes a lot more sense there. Here, here, here. Okay. Start over. Ready. H. Me. San. She. Go. Okay. Sitch. Hutch. Koo. Jew. Uh, take it back. Okay. Soto, okay. Mayan Peyuchi, uh, Hurricane Gakuski, 
So coming outside to inside, sotu uke, shift kibadach, mayempeuchi, back fist, yakuski, reverse punch. Okay. Remember, we're still looking for that forward movement through everything. Body center must move forward. Here we go. H. E. Sa. Chi. Go. Hook. Sitch. Hutch. Two. Two. Three. The sun. So be sure the techniques don't, uh, yes, we want them to be connected. Yes, we want each technique to flow into the other, but not at the expense of kime or focus. Okay, so I don't want the techniques to just be some all sort of blended together. There has to be, you know, a point of emphasis on each one of those techniques, all four. So uh, again, far easier to demonstrate this in person, but uh, just, Watch the best you can. So instead of coming here, 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 where everything is just sort of all one, there we still want to see that uh, one, two, three, pull. There's still a boom. there's still emphasis on each technique. I can see that you should be able to see you're settling into soto, MP, practice, jack ski. Okay. You can do that smoothly. There's a difference between doing it smoothly and, you know, just sort of all sort of blended together. It's, it's hard to explain. Uh, it's even harder to demonstrate over Zoom, but just making that point. Let's do a few more. Okay, here we go. Ready. H. Me. Sun. Better. Chi. And go, last one. All right, slide back to wherever you're starting from. Uh, taking Kokosu Dutch. Marote shuto, so knife hands, okay? We'll start out just by doing knife hand strike. You don't have to move exactly straight and backward. As I've been saying, mix it up. Do some turns, do some angles, okay? Be a little bit more creative with your footwork, right? Here we go. Just don't do that during a test. <laughs> Ready? H. Me. Sam. She go rook sitch hutch ku ju sitch chani sun she go rook sitch hutch ku ju Check it out. So let's add the uh, 
the other two components to that. So you're doing shuto, kisamegeri, yakunukite. Knife hand strike, front snap kick with the front leg, and then spear hand with the back hand. The fist chambers on the hip. Do not make your little platform. We don't need it here, okay? We don't need it. It should feel no different than throwing a reverse punch. It's absolutely the same other than the shape of your hand, okay? Here we go. Right. Me. San. She. Go. Look. Sit. Punch. A little bit lower, Carrie. Soft targets. Your your hand's a little high on that spear hand. Yeah, so aim for the aim for the solar plexus. Right. Hey. Song. She. Go. Good. Take it back. He's coming apart. It's not much better. There we go. All right, let's see what's next. All right, moving on to the kiriwaza. So some of our kicking techniques. My kiyagigiri, front snap kick. Just, just one kick right now, back leg, front snap kick. Hey, ready. Reach. Me. Son. She. Go. Work. Reach. Hutch. Ku. Do. All right, so adding the second kick. So you have two front snap kicks. Your first one is with the front leg, Kisamegeri, followed by the back leg, Maikyagegeri. Okay, so on, two, itch, knee. Okay, try to do so without disrupting your upper body too much. It doesn't need to do a lot of work here. It just needs to remain strong and stable. All right, here we go. Right. Me. Tom. She. Oh. Oak. H. Hutch. Two. And take it back. And Malachi Yeti. Roundhouse kick. Okay. Here we go. Keep, keep the kick at a realistic height, all right? Remember, I don't care about how high you can kick. I care about how, how proper your technique is. So I would much rather see you throw a good, strong roundhouse kick about thigh level than trying to disrupt your structure because you want to kick towards the head. All right, here we go. Mawashigeti, roundhouse kick. Ready. Hit. Me. San. She. Go. 
Luke. Rich. Hutch. Who? Jew. Rich. Knee. Son. See. To go. Look. Sitch. Hatch. Coo. The Jews. Okay, moving on. So now double front or double roundhouse kick. Front leg first, then the back leg. Okay. So the same principles apply. So when we did the Kisamagiri with the front leg, the front snap kick with the front leg, we keep everything pulled together. We don't want to jerk our body backwards to perform that kick. Same thing with the roundhouse kick here. When we're doing it with the front leg, just nice, pop it up and up. Okay, ready. H. E. Son. She. Bro. Oak. H. Hutch. Putin. Front leg, then back leg. And you. Good. All right. So back to your, wherever you started from. Let's take Kibadachi, horse stance. Well, we're going to go through our side snap kick, uh, Yoko Kyagi Geri, followed by Yoko Kekomi Geri. Okay, it's been a little while since we spent some time on these. Here we go. Ready, so moving. I don't care which side you start with. Okay, as long as you're getting both sides, I'm only going to do one set of count. All right, we're going to do 20. So try to mix in both sides on your own. Ready. H. Me, San, She, Go, Oak, Sitch, Hutch, Koo. Jew. H. That's it. Denise. Son. She. Switch feet if you haven't. Go. All right, take it back. Kick Komigeti, side thrust kick. So remember the big difference between the side snap and the side thrust. One of them with side snap kick, my post leg should not rotate. There's no pivot of my post foot on side snap kick. It stays where it's at. Okay, this comes, the knee comes up 45 degree angle from my target, hitting with the knife edge of the heel that comes up and then I turn the hip over at that last second here. But side thrust kick, we have to pivot the post leg. So I'm bringing the knee up and we have the hip turns over because of the rotation of the heel or of the foot. Okay, so side thrust kick, here we go. Ready. H. Me. 
三、四、五、六、七、八、九。十、十、十、十、十、三、十。And you go. All right. Enough of that. Again, all of this stuff we will spend more time on in person so that I can make some more granular corrections. Okay. But as you're working from home, as you're training at home on your own, hopefully, you hold your, have to hold yourself accountable. When you know you're screwing up, when you know a technique is, could be done better, do it better. Okay, uh, don't, you know, don't let your, don't be soft on yourself. Hold yourself accountable to do better. All right, uh, back kick. All right, we should get it. So bring the knee up, back, up, and down. Okay, remember this is a blind kick. Hips stay square, kicking straight back and up. So, the same coil that we use for the, the front snap kick, where we bring our heel to our butt before we kick, we want that same thing happening here. Boom, back, up, back, up. All right, here we go. Pick whatever side to start with. H, me. San. Keep the kicking foot strong. So if you're thrusting your leg behind you and you got a wobbly foot, you're going to do some damage to your ankle, your heel, or whatever, because it's, you've got to keep that foot strong for impact. So that means, you know, pulling my foot is extended or my leg is extended behind me, pulling the toes towards my face. All right. By doing that, that automatically shapes the foot into that strong position so that I can impact with the heel, all right? But, you know, if I'm just throwing my leg behind me and not really paying attention to the position or angle, shape, or like I said, I've got wobbly foot, uh, you're just gonna hurt yourself more than you're gonna hurt the person you're kicking, okay? Here we go, continuing. Rich. Me. San, Shi, Ho, Oak, H, Hutch. Hands up, hands up. Don't let them just fall dangling at your sides. Two. And G. Okay, relax for a moment. So one thing to keep in mind with this kick is our alignment, okay? So we're familiar with the alignment necessary and say a side, side thrust kick where I want my heel, my knee, my hip, everything in alignment here so that I've got strong support behind the weapon that's hitting the target. I need the same thing here. So there's a reason why we don't try to go too high with this, this Ushiro Gedi because I wanna try and get my leg. So it's hard to, for me to see, I'm start trying to see myself on Zoom here, but my, my leg, my spine, everything is all one line here. Boom. Not 
I don't, if I try to sort of artificially kick higher than I need to, you know, I'm gonna get this bend in my knee and then this all bends forward here. This looks terrible, all right? I wanna be here so that I'm locking out and coming back. But at that moment of lockout, I have to have the leg, the spine, the hips, all one straight line. And we've done plenty of exercises where we've, you know, maybe been on all fours and we've done this sort of stuff here. It's the same concept, all right? I want my body to be a board, a stiff board. If someone were to come behind you, you know, you're laying on the floor, someone picks up your legs and holds you up, you gotta keep everything strong. That has to happen here as well. Here, back, up, down, up, back, up, down, okay? All right, let's see how we are on time. So with our remaining time, let's, um, Let's see who we have here. We will review Techie Shodan. Okay, here we go. Make sure you got space or whatever space you have to work with and make whatever adjustments you need to. Okay. And Kipsky. So for most of you on the call, this would be a test you might be asked to perform at, or sorry, it might be a kata you get asked to perform at a test, okay? So if you look at the syllabus, it says, you know, for Shodan, it might say you need to perform one of four, one of four kata, and a techie might be one of those, all right? Here we go, Kitsuke. Hey, yay. Bring the hands and feet back together, strong. So we've talked about, if I were to come around and lift under your arms, they better not rise up. Okay, it doesn't mean that I'm pressing down, but there is pressure. I'm making pressure down to my feet, down to my heels here. Okay, looking to the right, cross step, raise the knee, open palm, hold your position. Don't move, please. Okay, good. Elbow strike, stack, down block, punch. Cross step, raise the knee, chamber, the right fist, squeeze it into the center line. Don't just bring your knee up and your hand up because it looks like, you know, that's what you see people doing, but there has to be an intentional inward squeeze here, here, boom, and then this comes apart. All one movement, okay? Punching low, squeeze in the right arm. Pull apart, come down with the, four, the left forearm on top of the right. Kicking to the left, twist to the left. Kicking to the right, twist to the right. Stack on the right, double punch to the left. Fold under. Backhand, your left hand. Elbow, stack, down block, punch. Cross step, squeeze, drop, punch, pull, strike. Kick, twist, kick, twist, stack on the left side, punch to the right. Keep looking to the right as you pull your hands and feet together and then your gaze comes to the front when your hands and feet come to meet. Okay, and Ray, good. We're gonna go again. Okay. Ready? Wait. Yay. I'm gonna change my angle just slightly. Feet together. Left palm over right. Strong fingers, strong hand. Okay, ready. Step. Edge. Knee. San C. Cross step. It. Strike out. E. Punch. Pull. Strike. H. Twist left. E. Twist right. San. Stack. Double punch. H. Draw out. E. San C. Step. Squeeze. Strike out. Punch. Pull. Drop. Twist right, 
kick, twist, left, stack, double punch. Draw the hands and feet together. And ready. Okay, on your own. Working Techie Show done. I'll be watching. Ask questions if you have them. Looks good, Carrie. So for the, and this goes for everybody. So for those last two or the last, you know, the double punch, and I know everybody gets sick of me using the exact same stupid analogy every time, but it's true. It all gets tied back to the same core principle. So, you know, every time I've had everybody do this sort of thing here, twisting the arms, okay? The arms feel loose, like they're just along for the ride. That's how, this should feel. So if you're doing the kata and you know you get here and you're just sort of like <clears throat> trying to do this with your shoulders and there's nothing here generating this. Okay, you're doing more work than you need to. So, you know, even just practicing just this twist, 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 throw that punch here, here, twist, here, here, punch. So they start to feel more relaxed and your shoulders aren't doing the work. <laughs>
That was a little better. <clears throat> so you can, ex when you're when you're working on a kata, and this goes for any of them, you know, you can really exaggerate some of the stepping and movement to try to get more momentum with your with your body. So, you know, we just talked about that, the double punch there at the end, but even, you know, other parts of the kata where we, you know, here, boom, I might shift to the side and do this so that I can feel my body mass propelling this arm rather than coming here, 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 uh, with just my shoulder. I want to be here. So this is a very dramatic exaggeration. We don't actually perform it this way, but it's training a principle of I want my bot my, my center my body boom, to generate this here swing swing okay so obviously when we perform it we don't exaggerate that much but when I'm trying to train a principle it, it's okay you can you can do more you can exaggerate to try to get yourself to feel what you're supposed to be feeling it's okay all right we are out of time uh, so, like I said, this is, I really hope this is our last Zoom class. I hope, fingers crossed. So, uh, I know if you know anybody who's 65 or older, they can get vaccinated, make an appointment, get on smilepolitely.com. They've got information there. My parents are getting vaccinated next week. Spread the word if you're in Champaign County, okay? Um, so, the more people I get vaccinated, the sooner we can get back to normal. Uh, all right, questions? We'll be back in the dojo on Monday. Unless something changes, I will let anybody, everybody know. All right, get skate. Hey, see you Monday. <laughs>